It's decision time for Emmanuel Macron, who's due to deliver Tuesday on a crucial cabinet shake-up. The reshuffle was prompted after the surprise resignation of Environment Minister and TV personality Nicola Hulot. Resigning live on radio last week, the environmental campaigner said he was fed up with the government for making targets it knew it couldn't keep and frustrated with the sluggish progress on climate reforms. It was a move that undermined the French presidency, just in time for the return from the summer break. Emmanuel Macron seems to have lost his control as he returns from summer break. It's a horrible and disastrous time for him because there are a few red flags. The Hulot matter shocked the president because he thought he could control the minister. He thought he had a close relationship with him, and that's one of his greatest assets, his personal relationships. But it wasn't enough. His departure adds to mounting problems for President Macron after a rocky few months. The French leader's approval rating sunk to a record low after the Banala affair, the biggest scandal yet to rock the presidency, which saw footage released of a senior security aide manhandling protesters while wearing police insignia. It led the president to acknowledge failures at the heart of his government and to promise a shake-up. It's the third reshuffle since the 40-year-old was elected last May, but just how much of a change he's willing to make isn't yet clear.